This one is about paleontologists, the folks who study the origin of the human species. And notice that what we have here is a split among the answer choices between singular and plural versions of the verb provides. It's always important to find these splits because that allows you to eliminate at least half the answers right away. So the question is, what, what is the noun for this verb? So the main noun of the sentence is pal paleontologists, and that follows the verb believe. And then in the clause, the subject is fragments. And these fragments, these are, this is the noun that should go with the verb. And since the noun is plural, it must be a plural verb. And so that means that provides is out. So right away, just looking at that split, we eliminate three answer choices. And incidentally, answer choice C, it looks like someone who's trying to win a contest for making it as long and awkward, as wordy as possible. So C is definitely out. And now we're just down to A and D. Well, there's something very strange about this word, estimated at. And that, that is not idiomatic. The, the verb estimate does not take the preposition at. And so that one is wrong. And so we're left with estimated to be. And I know that you often probably have heard that whenever you see to be, it's wrong in the GMAT sentence correction. This is one of these rare cases that to be is actually part of the correct answer. Estimated to be is actually an idiomatically correct structure in English. So D is by far the best answer choice.